guys Oggs here from the US. Thank you so much for watching. Today is the match day. Chelsea against Arsenal at the bridge. But before I go any further, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below. But also don't forget to subscribe to our second backup channel, Hall of Fans. I am getting a lot of hate in this channel and you never know what can happen with YouTube. That is another topic for another day. Anyways, Chelsea against Arsenal at the bridge is not going to be easy. People are talking about Aubameyang, red card, he's not going to play. But like I always repeat, I've seen people with one leg come at the bridge and beat us. So I'm not going to buy into that because it's Arsenal. Anything can happen. And also, David Luiz coming back to the bridge for the first time since he signed for uh, the Gunners. Man, I'm still uh, angry about it. I'm still jealous because everybody knows how I love David Luiz. He was like my favorite. I protected him for anything he would do, you know, like he can't do any wrong for me. I was so biased toward David Luiz. But now he's playing for the enemy and he's considered as an enemy for 90 minutes. But I don't have any problem with David Lewis. It's his life. So if uh, uh, he want to go to Arsenal, why not? But it still hurt. Anyways, I don't know how he's going to be received at the bridge. But I just hope that people can... Uh, just uh, remember what he did for the club and give him the respect that he deserves because we all have jobs in our lives and sometimes you know you you clash with your boss and you move on and go to another company so uh it's the same situation with david lewis whatever what happened the guy just deserve a lot of respect i just don't want him to score because he scored against us when he played for Paris Saint-Germain and he celebrated. But he apologized about it. But that is life, man. Just forget about it. Anyways, Arsenal and Chelsea always got some kind of drama every game, you know. You remember Diego Costa? You remember the, the red card that uh, was supposed to be given to Giggs and then... No, to Ox Oxland Cham Chamlin and um, and was given to gigs and all that. It's always drama. It's always Moreno and uh, Venga. It's fight. Something always uh, between the two teams. But I hope this time it's gonna be just uh, the real beating on the field that we beat them and then we co we we just uh, confirm. The painting job, you know, we painted London already blue, but this time is just to put the last coat in the paint so it can be just really, really blue. You know what I mean? But hey, you never know what can happen, man. Hopefully our boys are going to to do something like uh, Tammy Abraham said that he's going to take his anger to 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 Arsenal. Rhys James situation still 50-50. We don't know if he's going to play against Arsenal or not. But in my previous video, I said I don't want to see him play against Arsenal. Because I don't want to take too much risk. We need the boy fit and ready in the future. But at the end of the day, if Frank Lampard and the doctors and the management team think that he's ready to play, and then I'm going to trust them. But... You know, I'm not sure, man. I will give this guy a rest and play Tariq Lempty, the young lad. Remember when he came on against uh, Arsenal and he did some damage? He played pretty good. And he knows uh, the Bukayo Saka, the Martinelli, and all the kids in the Arsenal team. Because they play against each other in the youth level all the time. So he won't be intimidated by anything he will play his game and uh, and he's pretty good at the end of the day so let me know guys do you think that we should risk 
risk gems in this game or we should give uh, Tariq Lempty another chance to prove himself uh, with the big boys. Anyways, let's move on to the, def the defense. Man, I don't know even what to say on this one because the pairing right now is just like confusing. Who is our best pairing in the defense? It's Tomori and Zuma. It's uh, Rudiger and uh, Christensen. I really don't know, man. And I don't blame the defense that much for what is happening to Chelsea this season. I believe that uh, the best defense is attack. And if we manage to score goals, we won't really worry about the defense. I know the defense is sometimes shaky and Kepa also is not helping. But the end of the day, we could have uh, played against uh, Newcastle for another two hours without even scoring a goal because we didn't really have clear chances and nobody really put that their defense under threat. So we have a really our number one problem at the moment is finishing our chances. But hey, let me know, guys, do you think uh, I'm talking crap here or do you think there is some sense here? And who do you like to see in the defense today against Arsenal? Leave the comment in the description down below. This is London Derby and anything can happen. Let's hope and pray that we can come up with a good result and the three point in the pocket. Thank you for watching. Be cool like N'Golo Kante and always think outside the box. Thank you.